Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are having a wonderful holiday season. We're going to start our first DIY with this love sign from the Dollar Tree. And the first thing I want to do is to take a pencil and just trace around where the letters connect because I will be taking it apart and I just want guidelines as to where I should glue it back. And here I'm just showing you a close-up of the lines that I drew with a pencil. Now I'm just going to pull them apart. And you do want to be very careful because these are attached with these kind of nails or staples that are very, very sharp. So especially when you are pulling apart the O, you do want to be careful because there are two sets of them on either side. When you pull apart the V and the E, there is just one set and you still want to be careful. With your letters separate, you can rearrange them any way you want them to be. If you want it to go vertically, whatever way you would like the word to be. I'm going to go ahead and use a pair of wire cutters from Dollar Tree to remove the staples. Now once they are taken out, there is a little rough patch left where they were. So I'm going to take a 100 grit sand paper, also from Dollar Tree, and just sand down that area where the nails are taken out. Now I'm going to work on the L and the V. I'm going to take this heart-shaped baby blanket from Dollar Tree. I'm going to place it face down and then I'm going to take the letter L and also place that face down. I'm going to cut out a little square and then I'm going to use hot glue to cover the letter completely. If you want it to look nice from the back, you could just go ahead and cover the letter completely with the blanket. And that's what it looks like once it's done. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the letter V. That's how it turned out. And now I'm ready to reassemble our sign. And I'll be using the pencil marks that I made as a guideline to reattach the letters together using hot glue. Because I do want the sign to stand up, I'm going to make sure that it is level. So I'm going to glue the letters back and then stand them up to make sure that they sit flat and flush and that the sign is able to stand on its own. Now I'll be using some of these DIY stickers that Dollar Tree has for Valentine's 2020. I'm going to remove the little sticky back, add some hot glue, and glue this down to the letter L. I'll take a separate sticker, remove the back, use hot glue to add it to the letter E. There's one more addition that I'll make to this sign and you'll see that at the end. For our next DIY, we're going to use another one of these blankets from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to cut out a square shape. We are making a pillow so you can cut out whatever shape you would like to make. I'm going to turn it inside out with the right side of the fabric facing in 
the wrong side facing out. And this will be a no sew pillow. Of course, if you have a sewing machine or if you want to hand stitch this, you could do that as well. But I'm going to go ahead and use hot glue to seal the edges. I do need to leave an opening to turn the pillow inside out. So I do turn it inside out, making sure to push the corners all the way out. And once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and stuff it with pillow fill. And of course, when you're making your pillow, you can fill it as much as you would like to. Now that it's as full as I would like it to be, I'm going to fold in that open edge and then hot glue this seam shut. Now that our pillow is done, I'm going to take this Valentine sign from Dollar Tree and I'm going to remove the three galvanized metal hearts. Using hot glue, I'm going to pick three spots where I want to glue the hearts onto the pillow. And using hot glue, I'm going to glue them down. I do like to add different textures to the pillows. I think it makes them more interesting. Of course, you could leave the pillow just on its own. I am going to take another one of the pink hearts from the stickers that Dollar Tree is carrying, and I'm gonna add hot glue to the back and add that to the pillow as well. This is a sign that I got for Valentine's 2019 and I'm going to go ahead and use a scraper to remove the word love. And now that I have it off, I'm going to use hot glue and add it to the middle of the pillow. Now for a finishing touch, I'm going to cut seven strips of the blanket. I'm going to use six strips for the fringe and the seventh strip to tie it off together. So I'm just going to fold it over in half Decide how big I want the end to be, tie it off, cut off the excess, and hot glue it down to the pillow. This is one of the easiest ways to do fringe. And I'm just going to do this to all four sides. And here is our finished pillow. I really do like the different textural elements of having metal, wood, and then the softness of the pillow together. If that's something that doesn't really interest you, you can always just leave the pillow just with the hearts 
and the little tassels at the end that would look cute as well the back of the pillow is completely plain so if you don't want to have this side showing you can always just turn it around and that's how it would look This is how our love sign turned out. As you can see, it does stand up on its own. I did take some of the white glitter ribbon that Dollar Tree has for winter and made a little shoelace bow and just hot glued it to the top of the L. I just thought it needed one final thing. You could add glitter to this. There's so much you could do to make it your own. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video. I hope you subscribe for more DIYs. I hope you're having a beautiful holiday season. I'll see you all in my next video. Take care everyone. Bye.